Cristo. It's rain wet streets, it's nights like this with fog rolling in, cars and faceless people going by doing the things that they're doing. There's something kind of hypnotic about it. That's when I get inspired to carry what these streets are like, what the city is like, the mysteries, the stories, the thousands and thousands of people that you pass that are going by as shadows in this wet, cold, dangerous environment. I wanted to grab them. I wanted to take it to the future. And where I took it was cyberpunk. What I loved was the fact that it was a, it was a combination of dystopian society, a lot of technology, with this really great overlayer of almost film noir. In a cyberpunk world, I realized real soon, was a world where people had the technology, but it didn't fundamentally change the fact that there was a lot of treacherous, nasty behavior, large weapons, and a lot of sort of serious danger all about. The important part in cyberpunk is just that. It's not the technology, it's the feel. It's getting that dark, gritty, rain-wet street feeling, but at the same time, getting that rock and roll, lost and desperate and dangerous quality. But cyberpunk is about that interface between people and technology, but not in that transhumanist way where it's all about the technology changing or improving them. It's about how people use things. There's a great Gibson saying, the street finds its uses for things. And that's what cyberpunk is about. Cyberpunk isn't about saving humanity, it's about saving yourself. We've uh, approached doing this video game numerous times before. We have fought to find somebody who was enough of a fan of the world and the game to not want to go change it around or to you know, stick a label of cyberpunk on it and then do something totally different. And so when CDPR approached us, what we realized really rapidly was these guys are fans. These guys know the material. They're quoting things back to me I've forgotten. So they got it. And that's an important thing. You have to be able to understand why this world exists. They're dragging my butt all the way over to Poland several times a year. We're excited because there is a really strong element of cross-pollination. Uh, there's a really strong element of cooperative building going on. And that's really great. Cyberpunk 2020 was about early cyberpunk. It was a world in which people didn't know a lot about what the tropes were, the feel for it. The great part about 2077 is that it's a mature form of that. We're basically able to progress a larger arc. So you're going to get to see the outcomes of things that we started to talk about in the fourth corporate war. And we're going to be able to let players who played the previous game to see how those progress, see where they go to, and how they'll shape them. We're looking at the same mucky, nasty night city that you were in before, just a lot bigger and probably a lot more dangerous and with a lot of players you don't know about yet. 2077 is about the cyberpunk you thought you knew, scaled up, bigger, fatter, stranger. It's the visual component that the frozen pictures we would put in the books can't give you. It's the sound, it's the feel, it's the movement. 77 is going to be about being there. We've gone through a long, long journey, all of us. Those of you who have been fans have been waiting for us to get the right game together at the right time, the right team. And we were going to wait long enough to make sure it happened the right way. Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be the right way. And I can't wait to play it. And I'm hoping you guys will want to play it as much as I want to play it. Because it's going to be a hell of a ride.
God damn it. He is my man. The man. You're blowing up all over the news. down these doors after what you and your psycho friends Dystopian future, hard rap lives on. We want to provide you with the soundtrack to fucking shit up. <laughs> I mean, we're not here as refuse, we're here as samurai. It's a very interesting thing to be part of. We really work on these songs, trying to make them as good as possible. I think my music fits with my city because both are scary and pretty at the same time. My music will be featured in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm super excited. It's quite rebellious and it's quite noisy and aggressive. I think industrial is the word. I can't wait to see how the two worlds actually meet. I mean, it's been a lot of fun playing these beats. It's very punk rock in the way in its approach. You're building these systems to make really rugged, rough, edgy music. Psychedelic, trippy, yet uplifting and engaging. And you can see a lot of kind of industrial stuff and revolution happening. Sort of mixing punk music and like what electronic music could be in the future. So we have some tracks that are super dirty, super heavy, and then we have some tracks that are very beautiful and ambient. That was just a glimpse of what we have in store for you. See you in Night City. Games play best on Xbox One. I wouldn't write these lyrics for myself. In a way, to be so it's kind of interesting to, to get into like the mindset of who is this character and what would they write about or what would, what's their agenda. In the wish of it's interesting to, to try to like catch a language that, that's his and try to catch a language that's like part of this game. There is a reason why we're here.
it was Piotr maybe who, who was a fan of the band. He knew Refuse and he knew my voice and he said, oh, that's a perfect voice for, for Johnny. And that they wanted, I guess, a sound that was a bit contemporary from when it's when Johnny's supposed to have had the band, because he's sort of like an anti-establishment kind of guy. Gonna drag a corporal rat on stage, make him kneel, douse him with gas, and light him up. So of course there are things that you can relate to, and like just like this outcast and this rebel that's fighting against like the, the corporals, and that's definitely something that's been a part of my life and a part of the fuse life. We came out of the punk rock scene of uh, Northern Sweden. He's like the future version of us. You know? So I, I think it makes sense. I think it totally makes sense for us to be here making these songs about him or for him. You know? So it's pretty cool. Yeah. You didn't... No, 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 no trills. But yeah, but like white vibrato. And then I mean, just sort of feel, I mean, yeah, slowly build, sort of intensity. We don't have a different mode than just going all in. So we're, we really worked on these songs, trying to make them as good as possible. But then they're not actually our songs. It's interesting as, as a musician to play another musician, because that's essentially what we're doing. I mean, we're not here as refused, we're here as samurai. And I'm here with Johnny <laughs> Silvan, you know? So it's like the voice we're representing here is someone else. We'll never fade away! It's a, a mind fuck. I mean, the shouting in itself is just like second nature to me because I've been, I've been doing this for a very long time. But then when someone comes in and says, I'm happy with everything except for Azalin. Again, it's Azza. 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 I think we had it earlier, but let's do one more Okay. The shouting's great, but think of that accent. Or think of that like enunciation. It's a bit weird because it is a, it's a very different way of singing when, you, when you're screaming like that and it's hard to sort of... Swallowing some syllables there. Adjust your accent. Oh yeah, just try it again. So it's, it's been a bit uh, kind of frustrating. <laughs> it, it wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. But I mean, I get it. I mean, we, we have to maintain the illusion that this character that's a character of the game also is, is me, like when I'm singing it. So it makes sense, but yeah, it's, it's a bit different to have someone telling you exactly how to enunciate things. Because I'm not used to, usually people are just like, give me a thumbs up and then like, you know, you, you think the things like the rhythm and you think about the pitch and you think about all these things, but then someone comes in and like, that word sounded weird. I'm like, what? No, it's, that's how I sing. But so it's, it's been a very, uh, yeah. Painful <laughs> at times, <laughs> but it's alright. See this soon, I'm chipping in. Roll the bones, I'm chipping in. Belt that cone, I'm chipping in. Mayhem clouds. It's a very interesting thing to be part of. As as a person that's not a gamer, I don't think I fully understand the impact that this might have. If people like these songs and if people are excited, that, then that's going to be great. I mean, we, we are spending a lot of time trying to get this right, trying to get it to sound like, you know, like samurai would sound, you know, so it's, it's, it's quite interesting. It's a very different way of, uh, of, uh, of, of making music, actually.